Hey guys, happy November. It is November 1st today, and I thought I would show you something really cool. We all know the holidays are coming up, and for those of you who create print-on-demand products using Printful, if you're familiar with Printful, you know they have a pretty kick-ass mock-up generator. And if you haven't used Printful before, you'll definitely want to watch this video, but you'll also want to watch a different video I have created totally walking you through the mock-up generator. I will link to that either in the end cards or the um, description box or everywhere. <laughs> All right. However, in this case, I am going to, we are on the mock-up generator. I am going to show you how to take the Printful mock-ups that you get, you know, included with your account, and they're totally free. And I'm going to show you using Canva, which is another free design program, how to create your own listing mock-up photos that will just kind of stand out a little bit. Um, all of this for free, okay? I thought it would be fun and I thought it would be very timely for those of you who might be just starting out or maybe on a tight budget and who want to create some nice listing photos for your t-shirts, okay? You can do stuff like this with other print-on-demand products and perhaps I will do um, some different models, maybe one for mugs, maybe one for cell phones, I don't know. However, for now, I'm just gonna focus on the t-shirts. If you quickly just go to a place like Etsy and you type in t-shirt, you will see here there's a bunch of flat lay photos. All right, and these people are selling them, okay? So it's hard, you know, if you were just starting out, you know, it's not gonna be easy to spend you know, 10 bucks or whatever on a mock-up photo, okay? And of course, it's not to say they don't totally deserve the money that they're charging for this because they do, you know? I totally respect people who create these sorts of things. They make your life easier as somebody selling t-shirts, you know, as a marketing tool. But we all know sometimes times are tight, okay? So what we're gonna do, and yes, you can get stuff like this, and I recommend it, you can get stuff like this even for less expensive. I've seen them for a dollar, I've seen them for, you know, a couple dollars. So, but if you wanna create your own, you can totally do it and it won't cost you anything, okay? There's my little two plus minute introduction, we're gonna get right to it now. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and choose this, okay? So we're gonna let that load. And what I did here is we are going to design. And I had already, you can see I chose a few colors already. All right, so design, we're going to just add some text and we're gonna make this very elaborate hi there. It's an award-winning design there, folks but I'm just looking to keep it simple. We would generate the files. Once you have your design already, just go ahead, generate your files, and you will see for this particular, this Bella Plus Canvas 3001, which happens to be a best-selling t-shirt, they have a ton of mock-ups that they give you. These are all free. Awesome, all right? So for the sake of this video, we're not gonna worry about the ones that already have a background in it, okay? We're going to go with the ones where you see the models and there's just white behind them, okay? So what you can do is just create a, you know, grab a few different models here, all right? So you've got your standard. This is kind of the most popular one because I think this one has been around the longest. They did start adding some other ones. You can certainly, you know, grab him. I kind of like the ones that have, you actually see their face, okay? You can choose a girl, all right? So we've kind of got everybody going on here. And then maybe, you know, either a flat or a wrinkled mock-up, okay? The hanger is cool too, but I don't know if it would quite work the same way for what we're looking to do in this video, okay? Um, I'm just gonna uncheck that. We're gonna go ahead and we'll just kind of keep the front. And under normal circumstances, when you're using the mock-up generator, I do recommend Save your print files because you'll want them. And I have a whole video on why and how to do that. Also, I will link to that. And you would normally want to name this. Okay, I'll just call it Hi There T. Okay, obviously I'm not going to keep this. And you do want to save it as a PNG. And then you would go ahead, generate the files, and then you would extract them. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are on Canva. Canva is an awesome 
awesome project um, website that you can create all kinds of really cool graphics. And again, there's a lot of stuff you can do here for free. I will also link to this in the description box below. All right, they do have a pro plan. What we're gonna do here is we're going to hit create a design and custom dimensions. I'm gonna go with Etsy as far as Etsy likes the 2000 pixels wide and they aren't as concerned about the height. They work more concerned about the width. All right, I happen to like more of a slightly landscaped photo, um, at least for this type of thing. I also like square, like eBay is great for the square photos, but this time around, I'm just going to go ahead and do this measurement. You, however, can do whatever it is that you choose, okay? We're going to create a new design. Okay, and what's really cool here is if you have Canva, you would go ahead, look at those little three dots there. And as you can see, you they've integrated with Pexels and Pixabay, which gives you access to a ton of different free photos. So for the sake of this video, I'm just going to type in wood, not wad, wood. Wad. It reminds me of Frank Dodd, you know, just the whole Wad Dodd. I don't know if you read Stephen King, but I'm kind of totally hooked on his books. And Frank Dodd was one of his earliest villains. Anyway, that was from the Dead Zone. All right. So I just chose this white wooden background because I've chosen darker colored shirts. So really just to create some contrast. As you can see here and you see it in some of the other photos, sometimes you'll see, you know, like a little flower or something, or you'll see, um, you know, maybe something like that. However, and I understand, you know, a lot of those other mock-up photos you see here, you see, you know, like jeans and, and shoes and stuff. It's just right now you're doing this, you're working for free with free tools, and you are just working with what you've got right now. You might have the skills to go ahead and bring elements like that in. You might be, you know, you might be working with more paid um, design programs that have access to more things, or you just might be more skilled. But for the total beginners with no budget, I'll just call you the broke beginners, this is what is ideal for you. So I took the liberty of bringing in some of these mock-ups, okay? So what we're gonna do here is I'm just kind of bringing them in. And this is why I wanted you to save them with a transparent background, because they would work beautifully here. Normally, if you try to bring the transparent background photo into your listing, it might have a black background, which you would have to change or try to do right from the, from the get-go. Do have a video about that as well. So let's just say here, these are the three colors that I have created this shirt in. You might want to lay one on top of the other so that people can kind of see what you have. All right, something like that. And then you can bring in, you know, a few of the models so that they kind of get a little bit of both. All right. Something like, I don't know, I can put one of the guys in each corner and I don't know, but <laughs> you know, you can just kind of hang out, you know, play around and see which one looks best where, okay? Something like that, all right? Actually, we'll just, here, we'll do that, one on each side. You can do something to that effect, okay? So you bring in the flat lays, you bring in maybe a couple of models and you just sort of arrange them in a way that look best to you. You can maybe take one of these and kind of tilt them a little bit. All right, and then what you can also do, okay, and you see this often, is perhaps you would go maybe to elements and you can create, you know, something of, um, something of a little banner, all right? Something like this. You would go to elements as you just saw, and I went ahead and chose a shape. Okay, and adjusted it. I'm going to change the color here and maybe make it um, make it pop. So it's red. Okay, you can even change the color actually by doing this. Make it maybe a little bit darker, a little bit deeper red. All right. 
maybe bring in a little bit of text just add I mean you can have some fun with these but I'm just not going to do that well I have to no we don't <laughs> okay that's a pro feature that is a pro feature all right we're just gonna go here Sorry, guys. All right, now that I got that <laughs> situated, who doesn't like a seesaw? All right, we are going to make those letters white. Right there. And then you can just type something in, like available in three sizes. Or no, excuse me, colors, something. You can, you know, <laughs> here, hi there, T, available in three colors. And obviously you wouldn't do that. I'm just kind of being silly, but that is what you can do. Something to that effect. You can change the letters I mean you can change the font you can certainly I don't know okay you can make them a little bit smaller I mean really you can do all kinds of stuff with it okay there you go hi there T everybody wants a hi there T but you get the idea okay this is how you can create like a little mock-up photo I think I would prefer Somebody with an actual face in the area where there is just some more room. But again, you get you get the idea. Okay. This is how you can make a mock-up using totally free tools. And this it stands out a little bit more too, guys. You have to admit. I mean, these are all great and I love them and I encourage that you get them. However, it doesn't hurt to be a little bit different. Okay, you would name this, all right, hi there. Of course, you would get rid of the letters that were already there. Hi there, T mock up. Okay, and then you would download it and then you would bring it into your Etsy listing. So you can take a banner like this, you can put it on the bottom, you can arrange this stuff all the way you want. You can, you know, instead of doing something like this, you can take a shape and you know, they have those little triangles kind of coming across that way. You can do this however you want. I wanted to show you what was possible, but I want you to, to kind of take this and run with it. So guys, in a nutshell, this is how you use Printful's mockups to create a mockup for your listing photo, for like, you know, a main listing photo. Um, again, all free tools, just something that you can do until, you know, you decide to start investing in some other things, okay? I thought this would be a really cool thing to share with you because, again, I know the holidays are coming up and you guys are going to sell your products and you want your listing photos to look good. So I just thought this would be something that could help excite you and make you feel capable and just ready to run with your projects. I really hope you love this. and. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. If you love stuff like this, consider subscribing to the channel because I have, you know, plenty of other tutorials just like this about slightly different things. And if you guys let me know if you want to see me maybe make a mug mock-up or something to that effect, because I've done a few of those as well using free tools again. Okay. I appreciate you watching. I hope you're doing well. And until next time, take care.